What's going on YouTube? It's okay, Mon. I'm back with a brand new build. This time we'll be going into the two-handed mace tree. As for which character we'll be picking, that is still up in the air. We'll figure that out once we start the game up and get to the character selection screen. So let's go ahead and hit play a new game, Permadeath Adventure Mode. So here I am. Here Caravan. ye are. All right, y'all, after much debate, I was originally gonna go with Arna for her vow of feet. Instead, I think we'll go with Velmir for his trait to each their own. Upon receiving an attack, Velmir will be granted 5% more accuracy for five turns, while the attacker gets applied with more damage taken for five turns. As far as the stats, I'm gonna go heavy into agility so I can decrease our fumble chance because I plan to wield flails as our main mace weapon. So in case you didn't know, flails themselves have like 10, 15, 20% additional fumble chance. So you almost have to build into agility if your plan is to wield a flail. So anyway, Velmir, confirm is that, that it's so. Boom, it grab it up. Let's talk to him right off the bat. Grab that ring up. Until next time, we're gonna go ahead and slap this helmet on. And I may as well put on a crossbow. The spear is going to get sold. The ring gets put on. As we have been starting lately, we have to go upstairs. We're going to start stealing some items. Uh, the first one up. Go ahead and grab all of this stuff here. Then we'll go ahead upstairs. Uh, we do have a bolt of cloth, some earrings. May as well grab the peasant shoes, the bucket. Check the nightstand next. It's a bunch of junk, but it's junk that'll make us a little bit of money. Let me head, uh, let me use this actually. There's no tier fours from what I can tell. Kind of, kind of an empty map to be honest. Um, that's going to sell for like so little. I'm just going to drop it. Grab the oil instead and a, a jug. <laughs> More as well, right? And then we're going to head into our room. Gonna offload stuff. Go ahead and open this. Offload all of these items. Oh my god, it's already filled. There we go. There we go. No more items that are stolen. Open this door up. Check inside. Ooh, bear fat. Um, I'm thinking I might not have enough room. No, I do not that in there. I'm going to put the other items inside of this crate here. Okay, go ahead and put the traveling pot and the bear fat away. Put this on and then we sell everything else. Our next stop is the leather worker. Let's talk to him real quick. Go ahead and offload these items. Take a look and see if it's worth... Oh my god, it's going to be so worth stealing from him. Let's go. Okay. So when he goes to bed tonight, we're taking everything. All right, the apothecary's next. We'll head inside. Take a look what's he, what he has. Uh, a bunch of garbage. But again, it's all about the little things in life. <laughs> all right, next stop up is the guardhouse. I have to get me a brand new mace. Because right now, I'm not going to be able to start off with any damaging abilities unless I have a mace. So two-handed maces. We're going to get mighty swing. And we're going to get unstoppable force. Mr. Guard, I, oops, I clicked too many times. I need a two-handed weapon. We're going to be picking up a two-handed mace. Fantastic. There we go. It's just a big club. What are you going to do? And lastly, before we head into town, go ahead and sell the Militia Spear. And auto sort. All right, next objective, we're going to head straight south from the town. And there's going to be like a point of interest down here. And from there, we'll be able to grab up the Carpenter's Plane which we'll be using a little bit later. Now, don't forget to pick up this flea wart. If you talk to the apothecary, he asks for three herbs and he needs flea wart, spearmint, and agrimony. Once you have all three, if you talk to him, he will give you two free healing salves, which are worth about 60 some odd gold. Okay, I see the guy. Let's wait. I'm going to come to this point right here. If that guy steps there, we're going to be able to knock him back. Uh, we're going to mighty swing. Oh my goodness, the damage. Such a good way to start. He's dead. That can't be the only guy, though. 
Oh shoot, maybe it is. Oh, here's another dude. We'll wait for him to come to us. I want him to be right here at this square so we can push him back. So let's wait. Oh, I forgot the mighty swing first. We knocked him back. That's good. And he's dead. Battle Cleaver. Another guy. Same idea. We're going to stand right here. It's going to be our killing chamber. Wait for it. Wait for it. Mighty swing. Ooh, good deal. Look at that. He's bleeding. He is having a horrible time. All right. He's dead. Let me take a quick look at our character menu. If we look right here, we have armor damage of 20 and 11% armor penetration. Accuracy is a little bit low right now at 81.5% with an 8% chance to crit, 25% crit efficiency, counter is pretty low at 6, and fumble is sitting at 17. Now this is where the part of the build is going to suck, and that's the skill energy cost is pretty high at two-handed weapons. And it's hard to get your cooldown durations low enough uh, to make sense. But I think with this particular build, if I go full agility and worry more about energy restoration, then who knows? Maybe that'll work out in my favor. But we'll see. We'll see how the build actually plays out a little bit later in the game. Okay, we got another dude here that wants to pick a fight with us. I'm going to try to position him right here. He should... Yeah, he's dumb enough. Good deal. He's dead. <laughs> oh my god, it's so easy. This is the best way to start. Another guy. And we are going to uh, put ourselves right there. Mighty swing it. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the way to start. 100%. Okay, we just found the abandoned cart. And there are uh, two brigands, maybe three. Pretty sure I heard a third one. Yeah, there's a question mark. I don't want to fight all three at the same time. So we're just going to fall back. All right, every single one of them ran back. Oh, no. Come back. Come back, guys. Okay. Come to me, please. I'm hoping that the other two run back. Just leaving me the one guy. Awesome. One more turn. Mighty swing. And slam him against the wall. Reorganize our gear. Eat, eat, eat. Now I should be able to take the last two guys on. I just want them to, like, get closer to one another. That's the wrong move. Oh my goodness. Dead. Y'all, if you want an easy start and you're a first time stone shard player, Maces is pretty much where it's at. I mean, this isn't the only way to start, but this is going very, very well right now. I do have too much uh, flea wart. I'm going to drop some of that loot. Go ahead and read. Drop this. Uh, drop another flea wart. And grab the well-made pl well plane. All right, y'all. Let's head back to town. I'll see you there. All right, looks like we got lucky. We actually found some spearmint. I'm going to go ahead and drop a flea wart to the ground, grab spearmint. We have two of the three required items now. All right, y'all, I want to show you something. We're back in town, and if you notice here, there's Agrimani. That is the third item that is required by the apothecary to finish his task, and you will always find the Agrimani there, so you don't have to worry about looking for it out in the field. So we're going to try to talk to the apothecary right now, ask him about work, and actually tell him that we finished his task. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we got two free healing salve. And we can dip. I'm also going to drop this well-made plane outside of the carpenter's hut. But again, this is going to be required for a task a little bit later. So let's drop that. Drop the two, uh, three items here. Because these um, clubs actually sell better at the carpenter. All right, y'all. Now that the leather worker is asleep, it's time to steal items. Toss those back in. 
It takes about a week, week and a half before the pelts can actually be sold. But these smaller items it takes about a couple of days, typically. Go ahead and move that over, a pot, and steal the last pot. Fantastic. Next stop is the Elder's Room. We'll see what kind of items he has. So far, the first one is pretty, uh, pretty much a dud. Second one's gonna be a dud, too. Hoping for some pelts here. Bunch of garbage. And a rope? Come on, guy. Last one. Oh, well, there's, there's a rabbit pelt. It wasn't a complete loss. All right, y'all, we're gonna have a brand new day. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to the blacksmith, ask him about work. His task is to actually find three swords, which we've already done. Go ahead and turn that in, boom. 300, or 250 gold. And now we can sell the last sword here. Next up, uh, peasant flail spiked. Spike club and peasant flail, talk to the carpenter. Keep listening. These will sell for about 18, 21. Depends on the condition of the weapon. Now I'm gonna buy some really, really cheap stuff just to make sure we have something in our inventory slots. So the gloves, really oh, 26 gold. It's hardly anything. I could buy new boots, but I honestly don't really care. I think we can manage with what we have right now. And the only reason why I don't wanna spend any more money than this is you could sometimes get lucky in the very first dungeon and get upgrades. So let's just save our money and see what happens. And then lastly, we've got to talk to the apothecary and pick up some healing supplies. And a, probably a splint for that matter. Sell the nails. And sell the rope. And everything else gets uh, is going to come with us. And now we've got to talk to the elder. He's going to give us a contract. And this contract is going to take us up to, or actually over, to Bastion Inver. Now the names of these points of interest are always going to be randomly generated, but the contract is always going to be basically the same. It's going to be a human dungeon. Go there, clear it. In this case, the clear condition is to rescue the captive emissary. And once he's rescued, we can then turn that contract back in. Let me take a quick look. We do have food. I want to get fed. We are now fully satiated. Awesome. Good deal. Let's get out of here. It looks like we just found an abandoned cart. Grab the gold and the silver cutlery. The rope can stay behind. Okay, we're just outside of Bastion Inver. We do have a uh, mace boy, just like us, coming to the party. Wait, uh, we're gonna do mighty swing and then blast him. We didn't daze him, but he's dead. Easy peasy, drop that, we don't need that crap. Rest up, my energy back and my, uh, my health. Just one guard, no kidding. All right. No wonder, it's just a bunch of garbage, trash, loot. Let's go through this doorway. Okay. I'm gonna move here. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow, he's dumb. I must have fumbled there. He's dead. The next guy up. I'm gonna actually park myself right here. And then we're gonna mighty swing. Slam. Oh no, I broke the food. I didn't think I was gonna crit. <laughs> Goodness gracious. We do have an archer. Let me see if there's any good loot. Um. Okay, silver ring. I'm going to actually replace Varen's ring. And there's a splint, some gold, everything else gets dropped. Silver goblets. Cover's going to be empty. Um, let's go ahead and switch out to my crossbow. My crossbow's got a decent range. And I missed. Wow, that's a lot of bad guys. Okay. Let's uh, move. Oh, right, because you 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 got things that you can do here. Wait for it. He's going to do the same dang thing. He's going to stab us in the face. I didn't mean to do that. 
We've leveled. Oh my goodness, let's go. Everybody's just getting wrecked right now. Ridiculous. Amazing damage. I'm feeling strong. Now this dude here. Oh, right. Agility. Um, agility point. Perfect. The next ability, I think we go into warfare. Give us a little bit more accuracy, less fumble, less cooldowns. Grab that up. Fall back, fall back. I'm hoping he misses, but if he doesn't, what's mighty swing? Oh, okay. And he's dead. Go ahead and apply a flea wart to my body parts and rest. All right, so this dungeon is going to guaranteed have one floor only. Not going to be a two floor. Okay, we are, are we, I see a guy and an archer. This is going to be a dead end room. Wait for him to show up. Mighty swing. Good damage. Ouch, how are you hitting me? Stop it. Okay, well, he's done. He's out of arrows. Not too shabby. Let's take care of our injuries. Another bottle of oil. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and loot this chest. Oil, I mean not oil. <laughs> Manshire fortified in some crowns. Is this going to be the boss room? It is not. Have him shoot at us. Close the door. Open the door. Close that door, open the door. And that should be it. Cool, cool, cool. Let's, uh, wait. Mighty Sphinx. And you're dead. Stop. Stop running. Don't step on that trap. Ooh, a leather quiver. Unfortunately, I am using a crossbow, so that's not going to help me. It sells for a decent amount, though. Um, go ahead and eat and eat. I crit against a... Just wasted a crossbow. Bolt, that is. Got a leak. Go ahead and eat that. Ooh, another bad guy? Wait for it. He did pull us, so it was a good thing I did what I did. Bookcase is going to be empty. And this is going to be a dead end up here. So the boss is going to be located to our south. That's all the way back towards the entrance. If I wait, I can take on both of these guys at the same time. Ooh. They did some damage to us. Oh well. This is probably not the boss room, like I said. Mighty swing. Ooh, and he's stunned. Um, let me reorganize. Grab the, uh, grab the hourglass. Bookcase could be empty. Break some, break some items here. Next door up. Let's open the door. Oh, we want to see an enemy here. He sees us, kind of. Mighty swing. Are we gonna get the jump? We didn't. That's okay, he's dead anyway. Alright, I have a couple options here. Let's go this way first. Boss Chambers. Is he by himself? Good deal, fantastic. One, two, mighty swing it. Okay, let's rest. Awesome. 
There's the boss. Have him come to us. I'm gonna post right back up in the same spot. Gets a little closer. All right, first objective is to throw some oil at his face. Mighty swing. Okay. Well, he's dead. And then this guy's gonna be next. Mighty swing. Good crit. <laughs> the cell key, the purse. Go ahead and merge purses together. Drop this one. Um, mead. I don't need any more mead. The barrel. Go ahead and eat up. Wardrobe's empty. Bookcase is empty. I can only rely on this one. Hopefully that one gives me an upgrade. Oh, oh, there's no chest. No. Game's broken and the cupboard's empty too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cupboard's empty. Everything's gonna be empty. I got zero faith. Nice stand, also empty. Oh my goodness, why? Do you? Do you have something? You went to the wrong spot, little Billy. Because you're dead. This is the last room. Nightstand. Uh, that's a smoke trap. I'll take it. Cover's empty. No white stand's gonna be empty. And the last chest. No upgrades for us. It just had some amber. All right, y'all. It's time to rescue the emissary. Go ahead and open his cell door. Rescue him. Keep listening. Fairly well. I am going to take this Roderick note. And we're gonna read it. This will give us, I'll show you before I even do it. If you go over to your reputations, Osberg has got 2,700, Manshire 25, and Bryn at 25. If you go ahead and read this, and then you look again, um, you get the Herodric Note, which gives you 100 reputation in Bryn, 50 in Manshire, and another 50 for Osberg. So, not, not a bad thing to do. My items back up. But now we gotta head back to town, so I'll meet you there. All right, y'all, now we're back in town. Let's talk to the Elder. Got my reward. Boom, 450 gold. So the next thing to do is to talk to him. Keep listening, keep listening. Answer with number one here. I'd like to know exactly what we're dealing with. Keep listening. Yep, keep listening, keep listening. I do believe if you don't answer number one, then you can't do the brewery in the quote-unquote peaceful way. But ultimately, that's how you got to do it. So grab my purse. I guess I can't right now. Let me go see if any shops are awake, and we'll go sell some items. All right, the carpenter's up first. We're going to go ahead and sell a couple of items. We're also going to grab the well-made plane because it's now time to utilize it. So if we talk to the carpenter here and pick option number four, it says, I see you're not fond of the elder. If you click through this dialogue, make sure that you click options number one. Odar is on local. And this one right here, what happened to Dwar? Then you got to ask number three about, hey, what about Dwar? Don't play dumb. He won't want to say anything until you've basically bribed him. So pick option number two. And considering there's two options to do this, either you bribe him 100 crowns or you say, hey, maybe I can help you out with something. By doing this, he will actually allow you to just give him over the carpenter's plane. And that's it. Free of charge. The carpenter's plane is now out of your inventory and we can do the brewery the peaceful way, which will give us a lot of crowns. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me finish selling my items before we rest up and head over to the brewery. Mr. Apothecary. We need to restock. Talk to Hold next. Go ahead and sell the Leather Quiver. Our Carpenter's next. Gonna sell the Silver Cutlery. And a couple of these gems here. That gets sold elsewhere, elsewhere. I'm gonna just drop that one to the ground. And the Alcohol. I'll get that sold up too. Sell the Oil. Sell the Manshire Fortified. I know, I probably could have hopped into the inn and sold it, but I'm just too lazy to walk in there right now. And that should do it, actually. Nothing else we can grab up. I may as well get this. 32 gold. Whatever. I was hoping one of the enemies would drop it, but they didn't. It's now time to rest up. So once we do that, we'll be heading over to the brewery. All right, y'all. We just arrived at the Oaken Barrel. 
Option number one is what we're going to be picking. Then when old Crom comes over, again, it's still option number one. Option number one is the is the uh, peaceful way of doing this. There we go. Otherwise, we got to fight these guys, and I'd rather not. Now, let's take a look at the map. It looks like we have to go straight south. That's where Odar's thugs are going to be located. I'll meet you there next. All right, here we are at the encampment. Let's see if we can only lure one of these guys. Sounds like everybody's showing up to this party. I'm going to lure one in here at a time. Okay, wait for it. Wait, go up. We're going to fall back. And this guy's going to come to me. Noise. Easy, easy. And then we have one more guy. You're seriously not going to go all the way back around. He doesn't know where to go. <laughs> I'm going to go up one more tile. Mighty swing. And hopefully it pushes him. It did. He's dead. Super easy. Oh my god, a Psyga Pelt? Garbage, garbage. Take the Psyga Pelt instead. We're going to take this note. I like to read it. Oop, I didn't mean to throw it. Go ahead and read. Just get a little extra experience. Then we can drop it to the ground. Take a look, take a look inside of this nightstand. And pick the lock. We have a Pilgrim Staff. Which sells for 224. Hmm. Might be better than these swords. Pick the pilgrim staff, and this one's gonna sell for 100, but takes up four slots. Two splits. Reorganize. Grab that. Okay. Now it's just time to head back to the oaken barrel. All right. Now that we're back at the oaken barrel, let's go ahead and talk to Krom. Let him know that the brigands are now dead. Talk to him again. And this is where we can pick up the barrel of beer. And if you notice, the barrels of beer cost 250. But if you buy them at 250 and you go to any of the innkeepers and sell it, you'll actually gain about another 250. It all depends. And if you sell it to an innkeeper, you can actually make almost double the profits. So since that's the case, we're going to drop a couple items to the ground, pick up one of these, drop this, pick up another one. There we go. Now it's time to head back to Osbrook and sell everything that we have here. All right. Now that we're back in town, we can talk to Elder, talk to Odar, whatever his name is. Uh, tell him about the brewery. Just skip through his dialogue here. The most important option you select is going to be this one right here, which will give you 500 crowns. I always select this option. I think this is the one that makes you the most money. If you weren't already aware, anytime you do the brewery in the peaceful manner, you're going to lose about 400 reputation with, uh, with Osbrook. So just keep that in mind. Next up is to talk to Varen. We got to let him know about uh, how we got a cart and a couple horses. There we go. Easy peasy. The innkeeper's up next. And we can sell this for 438. It technically is a little bit more money if you sell it when he's at benevolence level. But because the reputation got decreased to neutrality, it's going to be only 438. Still a profit. Carpenter's up next where we can sell a couple more items. And then lastly, the general goods merchant where we're going to sell the king's bust. And then we can head back to the brewery. All right, now that we're back at the oak and barrel, we're going to head inside of this building here. Because there's going to be a chest that we can loot for free. And it's not considered stealing. Nice. Uh, this is another thing that I want to talk about. The brandy. There's actually a quest in Osbrook that will get us a free neck. And I'm probably going to do it considering we only found a copper chain. And the one that we get for free by turning this in is actually a lot better. Next we got to loot the barrel of beer. Reorganize the Saiga pelts. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Reorganize again. There we go. And then pick up the Pilgrim Staff. We're going to talk to Varen. Keep listening. He's going to take us all the way over to Manshire. Oh, we've leveled while at Manshire. Fantastic. Uh, yes, consider it done. I don't have any room in my inventory for it. 
I know where I could have left it. Okay, this guy. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and sell the barrel of beer first. Head upstairs and talk to this innkeeper. Actually, before we talk to him, let me let me do some things here. Let's see if we can't loot some items, right? All right, now we can talk to him. Um, what are you selling? Go ahead and sell this. 450 gold. Not bad. Uh, start looting some more items, too. We'll see what's inside of this nightstand. It's gonna be empty. Of course it is. Go ahead and put this away. We're gonna pop into the elder's room next. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I can loot this stuff. And what else did he have? Another barrel? Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Try to put it all in one chest. I'll just have to remember that it's here. That's my biggest problem. Oh, that wasn't... That wasn't even full. Gross. Okay, uh, next up, head upstairs. Wait for these guys to fall asleep. And now we can start looting. And the barrel next. It's empty. Fantastic. Offload all of these into the same barrel we just got done looting. There we go. Our next stop is inside of the fortress here. We're gonna go downstairs first. Oh my god, two pelts, you're kidding me. I can't carry the other one. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so there's a there's definitely some good loot to be had. Uh, may as well eat. Bring this over. Nothing else I can do about the other food. Uh, move the alcohol over. All right, upstairs the governor. We're gonna wait for him to go to sleep, and then we're gonna loot his items here. So let's see: peasant shoes, golden candelabrum. Nightstead and the barrel. Oh, wow. Okay. Gonna put that back in there. Oh, Bryn Vermouth. Let's grab that too. Go ahead and put it away. Lastly is the attic area. The barrel. Grab that too. Another barrel. Put it all away. You can go ahead and eat this. And may as well grab the bucket. Just steal it all. Now the last thing we're going to do, talk to the elder. Just click on through his dialogue. You're essentially telling him about the contract that uh, Varen wants us to turn in. And he doesn't want to provide you with any cash. He just wants you to say, hey... It's not his problem, so you don't get any money. Go ahead and read it, and then toss it to the ground. And I guess, technically speaking, this is going to be the last thing we do. We're going to the blacksmith here, find out what he's selling. Now, this is the thing I was wanting to use, but 26% additional fumble chance is going to be really hard early in the game to manage. So we might not get into that just yet, um, but it does offer a lot of crushing damage. Uh, even when we do fumble, it's about half the amount of damage. Uh, still fairly decent, but it's a lot of fumble to be managing. Now, we do have 2,240 gold. I can purchase one upgrade or repair this headpiece for 500. Let's repair the headpiece and then buy... Um, let's do the boots. I can't. He doesn't have any boots. How about we do the gloves? Then we'll sell these back to him. Oh, also sell this axe. The pilgrim staff sells for 11 to him. And to the carpenter, he will buy it for 56. There we go. Now, at this stage in the game, Varen will allow you to get a ride back to Osberg absolutely free of charge. As I mentioned before, we're going to take this brandy. If we talk to this guy right here, you ask him, do you have any work for us? Keep listening. Give it a deal. Say I finished his task, because he wants us to find a bottle of brandy. So, I finished your task. He'll give us this uh, amulet here. I believe it's the Fang amulets. 
And we're actually gonna get this identified. So pick up an ID scroll. Use it. It's gonna be health restoration and health. Essentially the same thing this is giving us right now. There we go. Or sorry, energy restoration and health. But we get 3% additional crit and 5% crit efficiency. Uh, we're gonna sell that. The Gamaton. Um, I need to save our money. Now we're gonna talk to the leather worker and sell the Saga Belt for 168. Now before we end today's episode, let's go ahead and go to our character menu. Put another point into agility and look at our ability screen. All right, y'all, for our next ability, we're gonna grab Keep Them Coming. The next two level ups, we'll grab up Unbalance and Striker Stance. Striker Stance looks really awesome. It's gonna add more crit, knockback, armor penetration, and stagger. And also each third strike will get 100% more days chance. That's freaking amazing. I can't wait to put that to the test. So with all that out of the way, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share this channel with your friends and family. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.